Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WVKB and in this video we're going to take you through the field label settings in File Secure Contact Form. You can see I've got these open on my screen now, they're just here in this Labels tab uh, when you're in Plugins and then FS Contact Form, very simple, easy to get to and we're going to walk you through what you can actually achieve in here. Uh, the first few settings that we have are for changing field labels, so the first is like an on or off setting, you can see Enable Required Field Label on Contact Form, it's got the Indicates Required Field setting which is just this little part here and then the asterisk uh, after the actual name of the required field. Very standard, very useful. Uh, using the asterisk is, well, I don't think it's particularly straightforward, but it's certainly been the internet standard for a long time now. But of course, if you want, you can really easily change that. Uh, you can do that there by changing the indicator to anything else you'd like. Uh, you can also change the indicates required field text, which you can see here. Uh, if you want to have that as something other than indicates required field, you can put that in. So you might say must be completed or something. Otherwise, you know, indicates required field is straightforward. And then thereafter, you can see that these are all the possible fields that your form can have. Uh, select your contacts, select name, first name, middle name, blah, blah, blah. And what you see here on the left is the default. So if you'd like to change that, you can do that very easily. So tell me your name, for instance, maybe you'd like to have that. Uh, it's really up to you. You know, as with most plugins, when we're talking about the settings, the defaults are generally pretty good. They're created in a way that is going to be user friendly from the get go and don't require a lot of time uh, on the user's end because that would obviously defeat the purpose of a plugin. But if you do want to change it, make it a little bit quirky or funny or customized just to your needs or your liking, you can really easily do that all through here. So we'll scroll down and that brings us to the tooltip label settings. This is just another area that we can override the defaults with. You can see we've got the capture image and refresh image, so we'll check those out. And you can see that tooltip there is capture image and over the refresh button, it says refresh image. So if you wanted to, you could change that. Maybe you want to say new image, something like that. And then just below that, you've got the areas that are regarding attachments. So if you allow attachments, it'll say what the acceptable file types are. Uh, you can of course put something completely different in there, but just using the defaults fine because then people can see the list of attachment types that you permit. And the same goes for the maximum file size as well. At default, it will just print out what's actually configured in the plugin or whatever you changed it to. Uh, and we probably suggest leaving it just as the default. Finally, we get down to the error message settings. These are mostly used when people are filling out the form and they're not filling it out correctly or they've say forgotten to fill out a required field. You can see here, uh, you know, selecting a contact subject, uh, your name, etc., is required. Uh, you know, you can change that. Maybe we need your name. Anything that you feel works for your website, you can change it to here very simply. But you know, once again, just to reiterate, uh, these defaults are pretty common amongst most uh, contact forms and websites and so on. So you don't really need to worry about it. It's really just for those of you that want to get in there, dig your heels in and customize that setup. Uh, but that's the end of these settings. Uh, we've covered it's just really to change the display in terms of the field and the field settings. Once you've done making those changes, hit save, of course. And if you have any questions about what we've done today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.